You know, I've been looking at a lot of stuff, especially with remote work. You have a lot of people who want to work from home, who want to have that liberal schedule. And right now, there are CEOs who are talking about remote work in a favorable light. And now these CEOs are not so favorable about remote work. And you want to know why? Statistics have come out saying that productivity has crashed. And I'm going to explain to you why productivity has crashed. This is something I had talked about in the pandemic where it wasn't a good ideal to give people enhanced unemployment. And it was, you know, my opinion was we should just let what was going to happen happen because now we're paying for it. Right now, there's a war between the people who want remote work and the corporations that want to come back to the office. <clears throat> and right now, it, it is a deep, deep war. Um, right now, we have people who refuse to go back to the office. They will quit and hopefully find another job. But this is what's starting to happen. The economy is starting to turn. There is not going to be as many jobs. There is not going to be. And a lot of these people who want to do remote work are going to have a big, big problem finding a replacement of the remote work job. So as we go along on this thing, because essentially the economy is starting to melt down. Uh, one of the things I'm doing I mean, looking at houses and houses on Zillow, which were um, really, really coming off Zillow pretty quickly. Uh, I will look at a million dollar house and this million dollar house would be gone. It would come on Zillow on Sunday and they have a contract on Friday. That is no longer happening. These houses are starting to sit and they're starting to sit. Rental houses are starting to sit. And, you know, one of the things I was doing was talking about failed Airbnbs and these failed Airbnbs are really starting to mount because literally there's some I've been tracking for months where is a regular house that they want someone to pay them eight thousand dollars a month or ninety six thousand dollars a year for a fully furnished regular old house. There's nothing unique. There's nothing special about it. And it, it's, it's starting to, this one house, it's been on the market for six months. So the reality of the economy is starting to manifest. We're starting to see people struggle. We're starting to see people, because one of the things I want you to notice, remember with the TikTok videos talking about People were <clears throat> struggling and having a hard time. Did you notice something that was a little strange about those TikTok videos? The number of really attractive women who were complaining. Really attractive women who were complaining. So that tells me that the economy has shifted. Years and years ago, I had to go to court for a traffic ticket. And... The judge blissed out this blonde, blue eyed, really, really pretty woman, set me, got me nervous, but I was able to go in and vacate my case. But the economy's changed. Doesn't matter if you're hot, doesn't matter if you're pretty, doesn't matter. This economy is about to be brutal. And all of these people who are clamoring, who are hoping, who are wishing for remote work, I got a suggestion. Start your own business. That's the way you get remote work, because as we go along, we're about to come up with the holidays. The holidays are going to be depressing. So we have a lot of stuff, but the economy is going to hell. And that's just the reality of the situation.